about Amazon. It's designed to screw on an F connector to help push it on your wire. Works good for that. The other end of it is supposed to, this is a flaring tool. Um, I've not got it to work at all with any success. It's just doesn't, you can't, uh, it's not really sharp, it just tears up the dielectric ink tail. It's very hard. I mean, I've had a connector on this one that is very hard. You can't even get it on there. Uh, the, the little pipe tubing is dull and it's thick, so it doesn't really work. You can see it just tears up the dielectric. Uh, kind of cuts and gouges it. So that that proved not to be an option for me. Except that this wasn't good. I like the rest of it. I like I like this. It does have a a little hole in it that when you're it's about that deep. That right there. So just to let you know how deep that is. Here's another tool I have purchased years ago. It's Ideal, the Ideal brand. Got it from Lowe's, I believe, back many years ago. This I've never found good for anything. But this is good for pushing this on on your wire. It keeps your hands from getting torn up. keeps your hands clean if you're working with burial cable. It uh, does stop the dielectric. You know, as it goes in, it stops this center dielectric from going, passing too far into the, in, in, into this, into this end. It keeps it spaced out. The if you can see, it's it's perfectly flush inside. And when you trim the center conductor off, you want to have about an eighth inch stick out, like that is right there. On this one, I've also just real quick put a band of tape, electrical tape, it helps you push it if you if you need to. Then I have another another little tool. It too, you can screw a F connector onto it. I bought it because it's supposed to be a flaring tool. It's supposed to go on here and you're supposed to be able to get it on there far enough to flare the end of your your wire the casing, but it really just kind of is too small. And when it does get there, it just flares for a little ways and uh, not too desirable. This is a smaller flaring, I think for the RG59. This is for RG6, but it doesn't work, not at all. The thing that I have found very good on all of them, all of these, is this part that accepts the F connector. Screw it on. But what I use it for is the little flaring tool that I made. I made a video on the flaring tool. And if this dielectric, see how it slides on there real easy? And then you push it. And usually I this has been used a lot with uh, demonstrating these ones that don't work so it may be too messed up. But you put it on there and then you can push and it flares it just right. Now this is very sharp. I sharpened it with this going from the most coarse and incremental down to the very, very smoothest one. 
and every now and then I will give it an extra buffing make sure it's good and sharp the sharper it is the better it works make sure it doesn't have any barbs or rust spots even take and make sure it's kind of like using a steel on your knife make sure it's all smooth on the inside surface and then the sharper and the smoother and the no barbs on it the better it works that works with these on the ends it makes terminating the coax wires much easier and those are just made out of the normal F connector that I got off of Amazon.